Let's pray before we begin. Lord please let us understand your word and put it in our hearts. May it shape our lives to be more like your Son. In Jesus' name we ask, Amen. Chapter 12 Now these are the priests and the Levites that went up with Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel and Jeshua. Zariah, Jeremiah, Ezra, Amariah, Malak, Hattush, Shechaniah, Rehum, Meremoth, Ido, Ginnatho, Abijah, Miamin, Maadiah, Bilga, Shemaiah, and Joyarib, Jediah, Salu, Amok, Hilkiah, Jediah. These were the chief of the priests and of their brethren in the days of Jeshua. Moreover, the Levites, Jeshua, Binuai, Cadmiel, Sherebiah, Judah, and Mataniah, which was over the thanksgiving, he and his brethren. Also, Bakbukiah and Onai, their brethren, were over against them in the watches. And Jeshua begat Joachim, Joachim also begat Eliashib, and Eliashib begat Joiada, and Joiada begat Jonathan, and Jonathan begat Jadua. And in the days of Joachim were priests, the chief of the fathers, of Sariah, Neriah, of Jeremiah, Hananiah, of Ezra, Meshullam, of Amariah, Jehohanan, of Meliku, Jonathan, of Shebaniah, Joseph, of Haram, Adna, of Merioth, Helkai of Ido, Zechariah, of Ginnathon, Meshullam, of Abijah, Zikri, of Miniamin, of Moadiah, Piltei, of Bilga, Shamua, of Shemaiah, Jehonathan, and of Joyarib, Matinai, of Jediah, Azai, of Salei, Kalei, of Amok, Eva, of Hilkiah, Hashabiah, of Jediah, Nethaniel. The Levites in the days of Eliashib, Joiada, and Johanan, and Jadua were recorded chief of the fathers, also the priests, to the reign of Darius the Persian. The sons of Levi, the chief of the fathers, were written in the book of the Chronicles, even until the days of Johanan, the son of Eliashib. And the chief of the Levites, Hashabiah, Sherebiah, and Jeshua, the son of Cadmiel, with their brethren over against them, to praise and to give thanks according to the commandment of David the man of God, ward over against ward. Mataniah and Bakbukiah, Obadiah, Meshullam, Talman, Akub, were porters keeping the ward at the thresholds of the gates. These were in the days of Joachim the son of Jeshua the son of Josadak, and in the days of Nehemiah the governor, and of Ezra the priest, the scribe. And at the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought the Levites out of all their places to bring them to Jerusalem, to keep the dedication with gladness, both with thanksgivings and with singing, with cymbals, psalteries, and with harps. And the sons of the singers gathered themselves together, both out of the plain country round about Jerusalem, and from the villages of Netophathai, also from the house of Gilgal, and out of the fields of Geba and Asmaveth for the singers had builded them villages round about Jerusalem. And the priests and the Levites purified themselves, and purified the people, and the gates, and the wall. Then I brought up the princes of Judah upon the wall, and appointed two great companies of them that gave thanks, whereof one went on the right hand upon the wall toward the dung gate, and after them went Hoshiah and half of the princes of Judah, and Azariah, Ezra, and Meshullam, Judah and Benjamin and Shemaiah and Jeremiah and certain of the priests' sons with trumpets, namely Zechariah the son of Jonathan, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Mataniah, the son of Micaiah, the son of Zachar, the son of Asaph, and his brethren, Shemaiah and Azarael, Milalai, Gilalai, Maai, Nethaniel and Judah, Hanani, with the musical instruments of David the man of God, and Ezra the scribe before them. And at the fountain gate which was over against them, they went up by the stairs of the city of David at the going up of the wall above the house of David, even unto the water gate eastward. And the other company of them that gave thanks went over against them, and I after them, and the half of the people upon the wall from beyond the tower of the furnaces, even unto the broad wall. And from above the gate of Ephraim, and above the old gate, and above the fish gate, and the tower of Hananiel, and the tower of Mia, even unto the sheep gate. And they stood still in the prison gate. So stood the two companies of them that gave thanks in the house of God, 
and I and the half of the rulers with me, and the priests, Eliakim, Maasiah, Miniamin, Micaiah, Elioenai, Zechariah, and Hananiah with trumpets, and Maasiah, and Shemaiah, and Eleazar, and Uzai, and Jehohanan, and Malchijah, and Elam, and Ezer. And the singers sang loud with Jezrahiah their overseer. Also that day they offered great sacrifices and rejoiced, for God had made them rejoice with great joy. The wives also and the children rejoiced, so that the joy of Jerusalem was heard even afar off. And at that time were some appointed over the chambers for the treasures, for the offerings, for the first fruits, and for the tithes, to gather into them out of the fields of the cities the portions of the law for the priests and Levites. For Judah rejoiced for the priests and for the Levites that waited. And both the singers and the porters kept the ward of their God and the ward of the purification according to the commandment of David and of Solomon his son. For in the days of David and Asaph of old there were chief of the singers and songs of praise and thanksgiving unto God. And all Israel in the days of Zerubbabel and in the days of Nehemiah gave the portions of the singers and the porters every day his portion. And they sanctified holy things unto the Levites, and the Levites sanctified them unto the children of Aaron. Matthew Henry Commentary on Nehemiah chapter 12, verses 1 to 26. It is a debt we owe to faithful ministers, to remember our guides, who have spoken to us the word of God. It is good to know what our godly predecessors were, that we may learn what we should be. Verses 27 to 43. All our cities, all our houses, must have holiness to the Lord written upon them. The believer should undertake nothing which he does not dedicate to the Lord. We are concerned to cleanse our hands and purify our hearts. When any work for God is to pass through them, those that would be employed to sanctify others must sanctify themselves and set themselves apart for God. To those who are sanctified, all their creature comforts and enjoyments are made holy. The people greatly rejoiced. All that share in public mercies, ought to join in public thanksgivings. Verses 44-47 When the solemnities of a thanksgiving day leave such impressions on ministers and people, that both are more careful and cheerful in doing their duty. They are indeed acceptable to the Lord, and turn to good account. And whatever we do, must be purified by the blood of sprinkling, and by the grace of the Holy Spirit, or it cannot be acceptable to God. Thank you for listening. If you want to know more about Jesus and what the Gospel means to you, then hit the video shown on the left of the screen and please don't forget to subscribe. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless your day.